Hello, this is a short video on how users at ITT might want to use their portfolio, just the basic rundown. So after you've logged in to your portfolio account and you've clicked the Create Portfolio button, this is the screen you're presented with and here you can pick from a variety of different templates. Um, there is a predefined template for you that's listed first that is specially designed for ITT. We also have a specially designed pre-built page template for ITT as well. You can pick that and that will populate pages down here. You can see that if I pick a different one it changes the pages option. So let's go ahead and pick ITT Technical Institute. Give your portfolio a name. Click Create Portfolio and you're on your way to building your portfolio. All right. So at this point in time, the basics, you can go ahead and type in text. You can format your text. Make it look however you want to. So you can edit the content of these pages. Each of these content blocks you can edit, change the way they look. I can modify different pages just by clicking on these links in the left takes me to the other pages that I can change. Once I like the way my portfolio looks, um, I can save it by clicking the save link in the top right. can also add files into my portfolio. Click the files tab, click add file can navigate to our file store to my drive, upload that particular file by clicking the Add Files link and that uploads the file. As you can see I already have a number of files that have been uploaded into this particular portfolio. I can add those as links inside of my portfolio. Click on it once, that picks up the file, click on it again and that places the file. I can do this multiple times for different files. So you can see I'm adding different files in. I can do the same with images. If I click on a image, click it once, click it again to place it. I can resize the image. I can move the image around. All right. Again, I'm going to go ahead and save. However, we are saving automatically your portfolio every 10 seconds or so. But you can always click the Save button. It's a feel-good thing to do. All right, let's say I've got some files in my portfolio. I've made it look the way I want it to look. I can share it now. So I go to the Sharing link, and I'm going to share it privately or share it publicly. Ultimately, I'll be able to share it in a community that's coming soon. Let's go ahead and share it privately so I could send out invites. I would have to know the person's email address. Give email that person, put in their name. Brief message. And then I would choose a date range that that user would be able to view my portfolio. So in this case, through the end of next month click send invites and that sends an email invite to support person at this email address so they can actually view my portfolio. Another way to share my portfolio is through a public URL. So I would give the subdomain for foliotech.me, validate, make sure that is a valid subdomain for .foliotech.me, click share portfolio. And now my portfolio is available on the web publicly. And I could share it socially inside of Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Go ahead and close that out. Always click that Save button. It is a feel-good thing to do. If you decide that you want to add in videos, you can do that as well with our gizmos. You can add in video gizmos. You can add feedback forms into your portfolio to receive feedback from people you've shared it with. You can put a Twitter feed inside of your portfolio and Prezi's, which are a presentation type.
put those inside of your portfolio as well. More gizmos are rolling out all the time. Thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoy working on your portfolio.